Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 13, Leçon D. And in this lesson, we'll see together what we call les locutions adverbiales. Uh, and we'll focus uh, this video on le, les locutions adverbiales when they will replace or when they will be associated with an adverb that will end with ment, M-E-N-T. Okay, so let's see now an example. So, of course, when we're talking about adverbs, like here, we're talking about, well, this word that you can add to the verb to give more information, like il parle gentiment. Okay, you've got here the verb parler, parler is to speak or to talk, and then gentiment, nicely. Okay, donc il parle gentiment. So that's the first option. I mean, you can add this adverb after your verb just to give more information. Okay, or then it would be possible also to use what we call locution adverbiale, okay, to, well, clearly get exactly the same meaning, but in that case here, you will use, well, une locution, so a group of words, okay, and then these words are not adverbs, but then they will have the same function and the result will be the same. Il parle avec... So, avec, with, and then, gentillesse, kindness, avec gentillesse. Il parle avec gentillesse. So, this avec gentillesse, this is exactly what we call locution adverbiale. Okay? So, we'll see a few examples now. And the first one will be prudemment. Prudemment. Okay? So, you get the translation here. Prudemment. Okay? And then, you could use... In locution adverbal, adverbial, avec prudence. Okay, so you can use prudemment, or then you can use avec prudence. All right. Patiemment, patiemment. You get a translation here, or then you could use avec patience. Okay, patiemment, avec patience. Calmement, calmement, or then, avec calme. Okay, so whether calmement, or then, avec calme. Péniblement, péniblement, translation here, or then you could use, avec peine, avec peine. All right, so whether péniblement, or la locution adverba, adverbiale, sorry, avec peine. Merveilleusement, it's a long one. <laughs> merveilleusement, merveilleusement. Okay, you get the translation here. Or then, you could use à merveille. All right, so whether merveilleusement or à merveille. Effectivement. Effectivement, or then, en effet, en effet, okay, so, effectivement, en effet. Généralement, 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 or then, en général, généralement, or, en général. Particulièrement, 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 or en particulier, en particulier, particulièrement, en particulier. Partiellement, partiellement, or then, en partie, ok Partiellement, en partie. Silencieusement, silencieusement, silencieusement. Or then you could use en silence. Silencieusement, en silence. Progressivement, progressivement, progressivement. Or then you could use 
whether petit à petit or peu à peu. Okay, so progressivement or petit à petit ou peu à peu. And that's it. If you want more videos, then youtube.com slash imagier is waiting for you. Like me on Facebook, I will be so happy. www.facebook.com slash imagier.net Okay, and the website, if you want more material, is right here. Have a great day. Bye-bye.